Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. And फटा फट से here I am again back with Hexaware section two that is reasoning analytical aptitude round fifteen questions, fifteen uh, minutes maybe. A on platform and whatever you are seeing on the screen is the bifurcation of these fifteen question. Please do practice these kind of question, and in this particular session, we would be focusing few of these kind of question. You know the drill. Pause the session, try to solve it yourself, and then look out for the solution. But before that, please do subscribe to the channel and let other people know what we are doing. Do like, share, comment too. So on this note, let's start now. Okay, let's start with an example of a flow chart. Uh, in the beginning of the flow chart, there are ten boxes given with some number is there in this ten boxes. We need to read the chart step by step. A, B, C, D, E, and after E is end. So once we have gone through all the five steps, we need to identify that what number will be there in these ten boxes. So give it a try, and then we will look for the solution. Okay, let's see. Step A is subtract number in box four, that is eleven, minus number in box one, that is one. So eleven minus one is ten. Put the result in box ten. So the value of box ten will become now ten. Now step B is number in box ten greater than sorry less than zero. Number in box ten is ten, which is not less than zero. It is no. Then we'll go to step D. Is number in box two that is thirty one greater than box seven? Thirty one is greater than twenty three. Yes. We'll go to E. Multiply number in box ten that is ten into number in box two that is thirty one. It will become three hundred and ten. Put the result in box three. The box three number will become three hundred and ten. So this is what will happen at the end. of the entire flow chart so based on this flow chart there are three question that follows you must be having the final values now you can answer all the three questions in no time what number is stored in box 3 at the end of the flow chart as we can see uh, this was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this was the final values 1 31 Three hundred and ten, eleven, three, eight, twenty-three, nine, nineteen, and ten. This value we have changed, and this value we have changed. So in box three, at the end of the flow chart, three hundred and ten is stored. That is in option D. At the end of flow chart, which number is stored in the box whose number appears in box eight? Box eight number appear is nine. So in box number nine, number is nineteen. We'll mark on nineteen, and please don't mark on nine. By the way, nine is there, not in any options. At the end of flow chart, number in which of the following boxes will remain unchanged? Box two will remain unchanged. Box three number is changed. Box ten number is changed. Obviously, number in box two is unchanged. So once the entire flow chart is completed, all the steps are performed. Three questions we can answer in no time. One more thing which can be catered by solving these questions, which we are focusing in this particular session, is these questions are Aon platform based question, which you will find if you are writing Accenture exam also, Accenture online assessment test. If you are writing, you can find the same kind of questions. Next, we'll take a few uh, sitting arrangement puzzles, which in Hexaware compulsory you will get one puzzle and two question would be asked. This one on your screen is about eight friends sitting around an octagonal table, and do give it a try, and then we will see the solution.
Okay, let's see what we have. Eight friends are sitting around an octagonal table. Eight sides. Okay. G is facing C. Let me have G is facing C. E is not facing H. A is facing D. B is not facing F. C is the only one sitting between F and D. So I can make F here and D here. But again, I can have one more situation where G and C are here. D is to the left of C and F is to the right of C. A is neighbor of E and G. So A is neighbor of E and G. Here we can have A is neighbor of E and G. A and D are sitting opposite to each other. Bingo. It matched here automatically. But I should have put A before putting this E. Okay, but uh, here it matched. B is not facing F. That means E is facing B. And the remaining person is H. So both arrangement, what we have drawn, are correct according to the given data. G is facing C, done in both. A is facing D, done in both. C is only one sitting between F and D, done in both. A is neighbor of E, G, done in both. B is not facing F and E is not facing H, done. Now we can answer. Who is facing E? Quite evident in both the diagram. B is facing E, option A is the pick. Who is sitting to the immediate right of H in the first one, if we consider that all are like uh, looking towards the center of the table, since it is not given, it is by obvious, by default, we have assumed that all of them are looking at the center of the table. Now, immediate right of H, if H is sitting here, to this his immediate right, G is sitting, and in this particular diagram, to his immediate right, B is sitting. That means since both the arrangement are correct, we are not in the position to actually determine who is sitting to the immediate right of H. It cannot be determined. Answer is D. One more example on the screen from the ranking perspective puzzle. Give it a try. Okay, I hope you must have paused and uh, completed it. You must be having solution by now. Let's see what we have. A sales representative plans to visit each of the six company M N P Q R S exactly once during course of one day. She fixed her schedule for the day according to the following condition. One, two, three, four, five, six. She must visit M before N R. M should be before N R. C must visit N before Q. This should be the pattern. M N should be visited before Q. It can be after R also. The third company she visits must be P. So position number three is fixed. Now we can see that we have got this four. M should come before N and N should come before Q or whatever order it is and S is left. Let us see that how many different situations we can arrive. If I start with M, then uh, we can have N, Q, R, S or here S can find different orders for M, N, P, Q, S, R, S can be in the top also, but M has to be before P, then we will have N, Q, R or N, R, Q, M, N, P, S can come, Q, R, many different, but what we can see is 
m should be at first or second position it cannot uh, be replaced from either first or second position it cannot go to fourth position because after m we have got at least three companies to follow so m should be at first position or second position that is sure let's see the question the sales representative could visit any of the following company immediately after p except obviously this is what we have learned m should be visited before p they can visit any company they can visit q r s q r s after p but she cannot visit m after p m should be visited in first or second position done if the sales representative visit q immediately before r q is visited immediately before r and immediately after s okay this is the pattern they are looking out for q is visited immediately before r and immediately after s then she must visit q as we can see she must visit q at the fifth position this will be the order m n p s q r q should be visited in the fifth day so let's see what we have now six person james david benjamin christopher joseph and ryan have to give presentation not necessarily in the same order we have 1 2 3 4 5 ryan either deliver his presentation at the start or at the end okay james deliver his presentation immediately after joseph so it should be joseph and then james together in this order there is exactly three presentation between david and benjamin so between david and benjamin it should be there should be three people christopher is the second person to deliver chris chris that is fix now db along with three people are actually group of five people now if ryan starts and chris is at second we are left with only four position that means ryan is not the first one to start that is now confirmed now db and three people in the middle ryan is the last one we can have here d b and we can see one two three people in the middle and in these two vacant places we can put joseph and james now one more thing is there it is given that three people are there between david and benjamin we can also have benjamin to start with and david at the fifth position joseph and james are at third and fourth position only and this combination is also correct ryan at the end james after joseph fine exactly three people between david and benjamin is fine christopher is at second position that means we can have two different set of scheduling now let's see the question how many different possible combination of scheduling is possible two different combination is possible who deliver his presentation immediately after david in the first one christopher is delivering after david but in the second set ryan is delivering after david that means it can be either christopher or ryan option d as we have got two different scheduling now few questions to follow regarding the missing term in the series number series or alpha series or alpha numeric series let's start with this one 5 23 67 149 missing number 475 when we can't see any pattern the best way to start up is start finding out the differences between these terms 23 minus 5 will be 18 67 23 is 44 then 9 minus 7 is 2 14 minus 6 is 8 here we don't know let's leave this now 44 minus 20 24 26 
Here, let's have this as difference. Then 38 minus 26 is 12. Now, if I go with the concept of difference table, here I need a 0. For 0, here I need a 12. Now, 38 plus 12 will give me 50. 50 plus 82 will give me 132. 149 plus 132, 9 to 11, 1, 7, 8. 281 is what we are getting. Let's check. 475 minus 281 is 4. Then uh, 9, 1, 194, minus 132 would be 62, bingo, it's matching. And now we are getting fit with our difference table. Difference table concept is very good. You may try whenever you can't identify a pattern in the numbers given. So here answer should be 281, option B. One more on the screen. Pause. Do it yourself. 17, 22, 28, missing number 43, 52. Let's find the difference again. 5, 28 minus 22 is 6. And here we can see that 52 minus 43 is 9. So we can see that here the difference should be 7 and then difference should be 8. Then this uh, differences are in arithmetic progression. Wonderful. So 28 plus 7 is 35. 35 plus 8 is 43. Bingo, it matches. That means 35 is the missing number. Another one on the screen. Let's see. And the rule is whenever you can't find any relationship between the terms you are writing, please focus on the difference table concept. 10 minus 5, 5, then is 15, 25 is 31, block. 15 minus 5 is 10, then it is 16, let's block. Then we are getting 6. If I block and I need a 0 here, I'll put a 6. 6 plus 16 is 22. Then 22 plus 31 is 53. 53 plus 56 is 109. Let's check with the balance now. 109 minus, sorry, 190 minus 109 will give 81. 81 minus 53. 752, 11, 8, 28. And we can see that 28 minus 22 is 6 again. Bingo, it matches. 109 is the missing number. Let's do one more. Because you will get two questions from this. 2, 9, 22, 41, Missing 97. Now rely on difference table. So 13, 8, 19, 13 minus 7 is 6. Here also we are getting 6. Bingo. We can fit 6 here. 6 plus 19 is 25. 25, 41 is 66. And 6 plus 25 is 31. Bingo. Yes, 66 plus 31 is 97. That means again with the help of difference table, we are able to find the missing number. Option D. You may expect one to two questions from deductive logic. So, an example on the screen. All rounds are squares. All rounds are squares. All squares are rectangles. I prefer drawing it with Venn diagrams. All rectangles are circles. And all circles are triangles. Wonderful. This is what we'll get. 
Conclusion: Some triangles are rectangles. This is triangle, and this is rectangle. We can see that some, this portion, some triangles are rectangles. Conclusion one follows. Some circles are round. Yes, since circle is outside Venn diagram and inside subset is round, some circles are round. All squares are circle. As we can see, this. square venn diagram square part is exactly inside the circular part that means all squares are circle all the three conclusion follows we'll mark on option a please use venn diagram to make life easy when you are solving deductive logic questions okay taken up one more example some people are educated people educated some people are educated and some educated are small families some educated are small families we can also have something like this some people are educated and some educated are small families two different venn diagrams we can have now conclusion all small families are educated we can see this is small families we can see in both that all small families are educated is not actually concluding from any of these venn diagram some people are small families in venn diagram 1 we can see that no people are small families but in two we can see that some people are small families but we can give tick to the conclusion only when it follows in all the possible venn diagrams you can draw but this is not following in one but it is following in two that means conclusion two also not follows properly so finally we will mark on neither one or two follows Okay, coding decoding. You will get at least two from coding and decoding of these type, and I have taken three four question. Let's do it. Certain code arithmetic A R I T H M E T I C, and I prefer always writing the numbers A one R eighteen I nine T twenty H eight. M thirteen E five T twenty I nine and C three. This will become A J S H T O W H S Y. Okay, A one J ten S nineteen H is eight T twenty O fifteen W twenty three H again eight. S is nineteen and Y is twenty-five. Now how they are matching? Okay, three twenty-five. Three plus twenty-five is twenty-eight. Nine nineteen is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is twenty-eight. Everything when we add up, it is going to give us twenty-eight. Now A is one. In this English alphabetic series, A is also twenty-seventh alphabet. So here it matches. Twenty-seven plus one is twenty-eight. So this is the code. Let's see what we have for caution. So okay, C three A one U twenty-one T twenty I nine O is fifteen and N is fourteen. We need twenty-eight. Twenty-five will become Y. A will become A. T twenty H is twenty eight. I nine S is twenty eight. Now twenty eight we need seventh. Twenty eight we need thirteenth. Twenty eighth we need fourteenth. Fourteenth is N. Thirteenth letter is M and seventh is our G. So it should be Y A G H S M N. Y A G H S M N is an option B.
वन मोर ऑन योर स्क्रीन पॉज एंड गिव इट अ ट्राई के आई एन डी के एलेवन आई नाइन एन फोर्टीन डी फोर बिकम्स पी एम क्यू एफ पी सिक्सटीन एम थर्टीन क्यू इज सेवेंटीन एंड एफ इज सिक्स सो हेयर वी कैन सी इज प्लस फाइव देन नाइन प्लस फोर इज थर्टीन प्लस थ्री इज सेवेंटीन एंड फोर प्लस टू इज सिक्स सो दिस इज द पैटर्न दे आर फॉलोइंग वी नीड द कोड फॉर मिस्ट एम आई एस टी एम थर्टीन आई नाइन एस नाइनटीन एंड टी ट्वेंटी वी नीड प्लस फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री प्लस टू थर्टीन प्लस फाइव इज एटीन नाइन फोर थर्टीन नाइनटीन एंड थ्री ट्वेंटी टू एंड देन अगेन ट्वेंटी टू एटीनथ लेटर इज आर थर्टीनथ इज एम एंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इज वी 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 शुड हैव आर एम वी वी आर एम वी 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 हैव एन ऑप्शन सी Okay, another one we need to keep on practicing. We know that we'll get two questions. Loser, L O O S E R, and I love putting up numbers. L twelve, O fifteen, O fifteen, S nineteen, E five, and R is eighty. This becomes P M T P S F. Now P is sixteen. M thirteen T twenty P sixteen S nineteen F six. Here we can see is plus four. Twelve plus four is sixteen. Fifteen minus two is thirteen. Fifteen plus five is twenty. Nineteen minus three is sixteen. Five. Oh, five become nineteen. This is plus fourteen. Not matching. And this is minus twelve. Okay, now we can see that no pattern can be identified with plus minus sign. Let's see with some other pattern if we can identify. And what we can identify is twelve become thirteen, fifteen become sixteen, fifteen become sixteen, nineteen become twenty. Here five becomes six and eighteen becomes ninety. So this is the pattern that is being followed. let us write the word we have got master so the numbers m13 a1 s19 t20 e5 and r18 so this will become 14 this will go cross here 2 19 become 20 20 will become 21 5 will become 6 and 18 will become 19 So the code would be B two, fourteenth is N, twenty first is U, twentieth T twenty T, nineteen we know S and six is F. B N U T S F, B N U T S F. That goes with option A. Okay, one more example on the screen. Let's see. C O V E R become D P W F S. As I'm writing, I can see the number is not required. C D O P U V W E F R S. It is plus one only. So for crack, C R A C K C D P Q R S A B C D. And after K is L, D S B D L, D S B D L is an option B. You will get one question like this, which you are looking at on the screen right now. These are known as I for detail. Your I should be like focused. when you are answering this count the number of c's in the following string we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 you can't put like these ticks on the screen when you are solving when you are looking at the question on the screen so be focused and then answer we'll take up one more of this kind
Okay, one more. I for detail on the screen. In the following sequence, count the number of plus signs and choose your answer from the option given below. Plus signs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Bingo. Option A. Do practice these kind of questions if you find somewhere. You will get one of this kind. Okay, now we have few questions from uh, blood relation question and you will get one in hexaware pointing to a person jane said he that person he is husband of my only daughter jane's daughter and this person is husband of jane's daughter that means this person is no one but son-in-law of Jane. Now, what is the question? How is the person related to Jane? Person is son-in-law of Jane. Option D. One more on the screen. If Ritu says Lalit's mother is the only daughter of my mother, Lalit's mother is only daughter of Ritu's mother. Ritu's mother's only daughter is only daughter of my mother. Is Ritu him? Ritu herself, na? That means this position is taken by Ritu. Mother of Ritu. We have got Ritu and Ritu's son, El Lalit. Let's see. Ritu says. Lalit's mother, that is Ritu, is the only daughter of Ritu's mother. Very fine. Then how is Ritu related to Lalit? Ritu is mother of Lalit. Okay. One more on the screen. You know the drill by now. You have reached this point. You have solved many questions. Solve this also. Jerry was at a station to see of the only child of his father's brother. His father's brother, that means Jerry's uncle, only child. He is there to see of no one else but his own cousin. How is Jerry related to the child? Jerry and this child are cousins. Option B. Okay, the last question of the session on your screen and that is from non-verbal reasoning. You will get one question from it. Before doing this, please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow and I'll see you soon again with one more Hexaware uh, session before 5th August. I promise that. Thank you everyone for participating but before leaving, please do it and let us know in the tick, 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 what we say description what should be the correct answer to this so on this note i'm mojin signing off from mj's maths and stats that's mj magic studio to you i'll see you soon give us, us the answer to this question in the comment box